over 1,000 years, Bergen has served the marine industry, and there is over 100 years of BMV shipbuilding tradition going into this 62,000 tons Sarita Ugland. With her 2,000 ton crane, she is the biggest offshore support vessel in the world, and the six Bergen diesel generating sets on board give her a power plant of 9,000 kVA. In common with the port of Bergen, both the main shipbuilding and repair yards of Bergen's Mechaniska Werkstätte have easy access to the North Sea. The facilities of the yard and its special deep water a large 100 ton traveling crane enable the berthing and repair of two semi-submersible platforms simultaneously. The third BMV division on the coast just north of the town produces offshore equipment. Diesel engines for ships, propulsion and power generation. Hydraulic equipment and deck machinery for all types of seagoing vessels. Exposed deck machinery in particular requires the best surface protection. This is the base frame of a platform windlass. All steel fabrications and castings are shot blasted prior to priming and machining. Components for a $70 million production volume and 70% export. The machine shops are equipped with first class machine tools. Both inline and V engines are produced here from 5 to 16 cylinders, 1,500 cylinders per year. Medium speed engines in a range from 1,000 to 3,000 bhp. Crankshafts are machined from steel forgings. Crankshaft lathes and grinding machines are mounted on vibration-free foundations, ensuring good bearing journals. Big winch components require big capacity machine tools. This lathe has 13 feet between centers and a swing of 10 feet. Numerical control has been adopted in the production of components for hydraulic motors and diesel engines. A valve bore in a hydraulic motor control unit. Special jigs and tooling arrangements increase quality and production. The working chamber in a Norwich motor housing. An automatic turret lathe machining rings from a cast iron blank. These rings are surface ground and cut in segments to act as push rods in the hydraulic motors. A push rod being placed in position. This unique Norwich hydraulic motor design operates with low pressures of up to 700 pounds per square inch. The biggest motor provides a torque of 25,000 foot-pounds at creep and speeds of up to 150 RPM. Big control valves are maintenance-free and allow fingertip control of 200-ton winch loads. These power units incorporate two of the largest Norwich hydraulic motors. Each unit serves a pair of semi-submersible platform windlasses. Apart from providing pulling power, each unit gives a hydraulic dynamic braking effect, allowing fast anchor laying. Each of these windlass units weigh 25 tons. They withstand the braking strain of three-inch chain and have proved themselves in North Sea winter conditions. The first mooring system designed to cooperate with anchor handling vessels in rough, deep waters. They include constant chain reading, a robust collapsible pole arrangement and a mechanical brake of massive proportions. 
Bergen diesels are on rigs, support vessels, and pipeline pumping stations. Normal diesels are delivered in propulsion packages to supply vessels. These diesels are in single or multi-engine plants up to 12,000 bhp. This is the prototype test stand. In this building, new diesel motor and hydraulic motor designs are tested. Here in the control room, there is instrumentation for direct reading of engine speeds and brake effect, visual teletype recording, and computerized reading and control of diesel engine test programs. Equipment is shipped from this deep water weather-free key and spares from Bergen International Airport, direct. That's Ross Rig drilling for Conoco and Statoil in the North Sea, roughly halfway between the west coast of Norway and the Shetlands. Owned by the Norwegian company Ross Harvard of Sandefjord and equipped with two Arca cranes, the Norwinch mooring system and Bergen diesel generating sets. Rig operation is dependent upon four 2000 KVA Bergen diesel sets. Reliability is well founded in 30 years design and operational experience in power generation installations from the tropics to the Arctic. The aim is to deliver diesel engines giving 20,000 hours duty between overhauls. There are two Arca 40 ton cranes on board. They have Norwinch hydraulic transmissions and are designed to handle cargoes from vessels lying alongside in North Sea conditions. The rig is riding in 380 feet of water. There is 2,700 feet chain to each of the eight main anchors. Normal chain tension, over 200,000 pounds, but higher here due to strong 40 knot winds. Similar Norwinch mooring systems have worked in 1,500 feet depths in the Atlantic with 4,000 feet lengths of chain. Best anchor laying record so far, eight anchors with 2,500 feet chain lengths, four hours. And this is because the Norwinch hydraulic power transmission gives these windlasses a flexible dynamic braking feature. The chain is powered out at up to 400 feet per minute. And at that speed, there is 65 tons of brake effect, a big advantage during the initial holding phase in the mooring procedure. There are 28 of these Arca H3 rigs. 21 powered by Bergen diesel generating sets. 16 held in position by Norwinch mooring systems. The common aim, to find gas and oil. 